Hey guys, welcome to Electrofun. In today's video, we will see how you can install MCU Expresso. Now, this is a IDE provided by NXP to program its devices and microcontrollers. The reason we are downloading this ID is because we are planning to work or we will work on this board which is FRDM Freedom Board provided by NXP. So let's get started. Just go to MCU Expresso. The first link will be the link where you can use to download. Then go to downloads. Click on this MCU Expresso integrated development environment. Now, due to some concerns, a lot of time the latest version have bugs in it or I would not say bugs but it's a little unstable with the previous version. So we will install the version which is stable, which we know is stable, which is 11.2. We'll just click over here and we'll agree. Now obviously it will ask me to make an account if I don't have one but it seems that I have I have an account on X, NXP and it is logged in but if you are doing it for the first time you will have to make an account so that you are able to see this download page. So we are downloading that for Windows. So once the downloading is done, it's pretty much uh, the same step which requires to install a software. So I'll just quickly follow the steps to install it. Asking you the location where the software will reside. So in my case, it will be in C. And then for all users, just standard guide. After installing, this is not the only thing uh, which is required. So you're not done over here yet. You have to download the SDK for the board you are using from the NXP's website and embed, embed that in your IDE for the code to compile successfully for that board. So this is general for all other boards as well. I'll just walk you through how that is done once the IDE loads up. Make sure you install the drivers once uh, you get a pop-up of such things. It might be a case that you will get an alert from Windows Defender saying uh, asking for access for Java platform. So make sure you allow access as well. Those are basically all the dependencies which the software requires for uh, the program to run. So it seems we have everything here. We'll just launch the IDE. It's installed now. So here we have our welcome page. We'll just close this. And there's a section over here below which says install SDKs. So this is where we will install our SDK. So we just have to click over here. Sometimes it doesn't direct you to a external website. It says the link is broken or error or something like that. So in that case, what you can do is you can just go to browser and type for MCU Expresso sdk builder so this will take you to the website again and then you can just select the development board which you are using in in my case i i'll do it from here itself it's it's pretty easy to do it from here but as you can see it's it's difficult to understand where to type and where to not so for the ease, we'll just do it over here, FRDM. And then you search for the board, which is KL, FRDM, KL25. 
to 5z so if it doesn't come so write kl to 5z yeah so here we have a board so as you can see it shows over here the board is selected and once you have that you can just click on this build it will ask you what exactly you are looking to download just for simplicity you can select all or if you have any specific application you can select the way you want and then you can just download the SDK okay that is done now you can either import or you can just directly drag so drag dragging is comparatively easy so and this way the SDK will come over here now the way to confirm confirm that is just create a new expresso project so I'll just create a new project while creating it will ask for the board just select that board in our case it's frdm just go on to next give your project a name which is first project and uh, I think that is the only thing we require over here in the default changes and then just finish that so this will load the project files and it will give you all the necessary files you need so here we have a project file now we'll just build this if the SDK is installed properly and if everything is good it should not give any errors unless you have made some mistake where you may guide some errors so as you can see the compilation is done with zero errors and zero warnings and when you uh, upload this code uh, using either run or debug so you will see hello world getting print either on console or over here on terminal so this is how you install MCU Expresso on your machine. So I hope you have understood this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section below. I'll reply to all of them. Till then, like our video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.